But the other side of that, and that's the part which leads me to call him a realist, and we can talk a little bit later about what that word means, is this his, his deep sense of the need for prudence and restraint in America's relations abroad. Again, as part of the, this Washington uh, idea. And so in the 1790s, when he was a diplomat, and uh, both England and France had engaged in provocations that had whipped up a nationalist further, fervor, in both cases, Adams was very strongly counseling his fellow Americans against uh, falling prey to that and engaging in hostilities and basically uh, ending this, this kind of lucky situation that Washington had talked about. And in one of his letters, he said, if resentment were a good or safe foundation for policy measures, few Americans perhaps would be disposed to go further than I would. But of all the guides that a nation can follow, passion is the most treacherous and prudence the most faithful. So this idea really comes to a head during uh, Adams's tenure as Secretary of State. And that's kind of the moment in which this dispute about how we should think about his foreign policy becomes most acute.